Right, this little bit of the video is just mostly for those who are interested in seeing uh, this display a bit more detail. Um, I'm going to move this a bit back. This is the one I was working on in the previous video, if you've seen the previous video. Um, this is TT Combat's Highway. I think it's just called the Highway. It's actually a raised highway, but I haven't built the supports because I want to put these side by side, which I'll show you in a minute. Because I need to get a couple more so I can build this side of the road. Because um, initially they come with the walls either side, but I've not put them on this side so that I can make four lanes of traffic and not just two as they come with only one wall either side and then a wall that goes in the middle I wanted to make a four lane like highway section as it also fits better with the 124 scale cars like these these are just my junk ones but the idea being is when I've got the other two of these built on this side I can have a lovely little diorama of a wrecked highway to display my uh, future models on but for now this works just as well um, it's quite simple just took put the kit together as is um, took some woodland scenic gravel and used some PVA smeared on top sprinkled these on painted a dark coat of grey dry brushed a light grey on top to give it that tarmac look just simply masked out with some masking tape some basic lines and just went over with some white um, painted the wall grey took, drilled some holes and some bullet holes and took a bit of mesh and just kind of like this wall's been hit very hard and took down to the mesh dry brushed over it, gave it a bit of weathering took some more PVA and just dabbed it pieces here and took some woodland scenic uh, field grass and woodland scenic I can't what this is called, I think shrubbery just your basic shrubby stuff and just glued it in the spots there to uh, give it a little bit overgrown I didn't want to go too over the top of the overgrown stuff and it's just short work as you can see I've also glued in between here didn't want to go too much overboard um, I'm going to quickly show you how it breaks apart it's got little catches in the middle I've yet to paint the underside of this because I'm still working on the, uh, the actual supports, which go like here. Like um, the reason I haven't done the support yet is simply because when you put them side by side, like this, since they were never meant to go side to side, they don't work that well with the supports. So I need to trim down the supports so that I can fit them side by side, so you can have four lines of traffic. I've also got to clean up this section here as you can kind of see it doesn't quite fit flush but obviously you can see the raised grass I'm going to put some here and, and such. I think about six pieces should give me a fairly big chunky piece of highway to do diorama and obviously like I said and it is just so you've got like four chunks or so to put cars on so that you can like well wouldn't necessarily like that but you know you can see that like two roads two areas we blocked off or two lanes should be blocked off or this lane will be blocked off and maybe that car can be on this side you know just for general display when I want to put a model on something simple quickly and easy really you know it's surprising how a few minutes work a few minutes and you can just make something nice but yeah I could have put more detail into making these but at the end of the day, if it's just for the display, I'm not trying to make a really realistic highway or anything like that. So there was no need to um, spend hours and hours and days and days making this ultra realistic highway that's going to kind of take away the attention from the models. It was also because I noticed when I started building the uh, war rig, it's actually too long to fit on my older base which you'll see you just like I said in my last video um, stay to the end I'll uh, show you all the models that I've got left built and uh, let you vote for them for the next one that I make a video on which should be out by next Wednesday so this is Death Row Chevelle Hammerhead Lone Traveller Stubby Bob which is a replica of a TV show one uh, Raider Gun Truck and then my Rex here 
Although I'm not really expecting that. So yeah, leave a comment down below which one you'd want to see next and whoever one gets the most votes before I think next Tuesday. So say Monday is the cutoff date and then I'll go through one Tuesday. It gives me a day or so to make a video and that one will be out by Wednesday hopefully. So yeah. See you next time.